All right, good morning, guys. So Canon have done a bit of a Sony, if that's a thing. Thinking outside the box a bit. Um, a little bit quirky, but actually quite like it. Uh, a vlogging camera, basically. And it's 459 quid, with including the uh, vlogging kit as well. And if you buy from Wex, you get a free uh, micro SD card as well, worth 18 quid. So not bad at all. It's... You know, pretty cool. I mean, it's a uh, 19 millimeter wide angle lens, so you know, going to get quite a lot in there. It's nice and compact, fit in your pocket, and I really like it because you've got this screen here, which flips up so you can see from the other way, which is which is quite cool. You've obviously got a few buttons on the back, but your main button is on the front, which is a stop and start record button. That's all you need. It's for vlogging, really. Um, you got mic inputs. You got HDMI. Uh, you've got two mics on the top there, but with the vlogging kit, you actually get um, wind mufflers. Looks like a little rabbit then, doesn't it? Uh, a little bag, a lens cap, and a, I'm guessing a pouch, or not a pouch, a um, connection bit, probably if it's got a tripod mount or something on it, I'm not sure. Um, but obviously gives it a bit of uh, strength for cover and, and whatever. Uh, that's what it looks like with the screen folded out. It's got a built-in stand which means you can sit it down and it will just sit there, which is obviously helpful. Here are the specs. So it's called the V10. I'm not sure why it's called a V10, but it's basically a pocket size vlogging powerhouse. Combining a 19 millimeter 4K video and uh, digital iOS mics, built-in foldable stand and studio quality content on the go. So yeah, 20.9 20, megapixel one inch back illuminated sensor. Like I say, 19mm wide angle lens, f2.8, so pretty fast lens. 4K 30 up to a maximum ISO 3200 and supports HD 60p with a maximum ISO 6400. So not bad in low light, so that's good. Uh, you've got on a one hour recording limit. To be honest, if you're vlogging, I do shorter clips anyway, then you, you, know, you build up your thing. But I suppose if you're doing an interview or something, you can record up, up to an hour. Um, movie digital IS and auto level keep shots smooth and steady. Oh, okay, so basically steady shot. Um, like I say, it's got two large microphones and a and a jack as well. Also, wind filter for cleaner audio. Um, you can share all of your uh, content via Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and um, you can also use it as a webcam, which is handy or live streaming. Two inch screen on the back, which is obviously relatively okay size, and the foldable stand. 14 creative color filters to choose from every setting. So that's not too bad. You've got built in stuff, which is good in the software. Uh, compact and lightweight. I don't know how much it weighs, we'll have a look in a sec. Uh, remote shooting using the camera connected uh, app oh, on your phone. Up to 1 4000th of a second, and 1 2000th, and back down to 1 25th of a second. And and stills. Oh, okay. It does it does take photos. Um, da, 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 da. Okay, you can also capture the height of the action without unwanted unwanted distortion. Fourteen color filters, vertical shooting to give users a creative control. I suppose like for Instagram and uh, TikTok and stuff like that. Uh, it's actually an autofocus lens, which is helpful as long as it doesn't hunt too much. But you got a ninety seven degree. Uh, view angle or 100 degree uh, from stills I mean you can read this guys I'm not going to go too far into it but I just thought it was quite cool it's um, thinking outside the box a little bit it looks a bit like a flippy phone if you know what I mean it's, it's nice and compact obviously it will fit in your pocket and the price I mean I've just spent that much money on the I Insta360 which obviously I'm, I'm really enjoying using and it, it does give me a different uh, view but to get a one-inch sensor, the um, i360 one one inch one is about nine hundred quid. So it actually makes the Canon very very um, good quality and uh, a good price as well. So yeah, I mean, what can we complain about really? Um, so in the box you get the camera itself, the cable, wrist strap. Oh, you get wrist strap as well. That's handy. Uh, user manual camera cage, so it has got a cage of some sort. 
the min mini windshields, uh, lens cap and textile case. So you can actually put it in there. It also gives you a 10 second timer and a two second timer countdown. Uh, additional set, uh, accessories. Oh, you can actually get a wireless Bluetooth remote. That's cool. Uh, tripod grip. And battery life, this is uh, interesting. So 55 minutes, you can support up to two, two hours, 40 minutes in 4K playback and record in 4K for approximately 55 minutes. I don't know if it's like the um, Insta360 or the GoPro where you can take the battery out. It doesn't actually say that. That would be one thing. I mean, if you can plug a power bank into it, that's not too bad. Can we see anywhere in the pictures? I think it's probably a sealed unit by the looks of it. Sadly, so I don't think you can get the battery out, which is uh, one one of the things. But if you can power it up via power bank, it's not the end of the world. But it's a vlogging camera at the end of the day. You're going to be doing, for me, 5, 10, 15 minute clips max. And then, you know, you can always put it back on charge in between stuff or... Or whatever. So uh, 55 minutes. The Insta360 so far is showing about one minute, one, one minute, one hour, 10 ish minutes per charge. So, you know, that I was quite surprised by how good that is actually from one battery. And the batteries on the Insta360 are, uh, I think, about 30 quid or something. They're not loads of money. So for me, this is really handy. And the 360, I quite like the fact that I can move around and you know, look at different things at the same time, which is really helpful. But obviously you can record in one camera only, either rear or front, depending on what you want to do. So, you know, that is, for me, it's working rather well. But I think this is really quirky and actually it does have a very good use uh, as a vlogging camera. So, yeah, I'm on, it's not expensive, I don't think, for what you get. Um, but it would just be interesting to see if the battery is replaceable or... Is it a sealed unit? It looks to me like it's a sealed unit. But anyway, let me know what you think about this. I mean, I think this is quite quirky. And I say, I'm not, not really used many Canons over the years anyway. And obviously, this is slightly different. And where they've been thinking outside the box a bit, which is really nice. So um, if you want one, pre order it. I think it'll be uh, quite cool. I don't think I will, but I think it's because I've got so much stuff already. I don't, it's just another thing that I don't know. Maybe I'll go and try one, see what it's like. Um, but anyway, don't forget to click the subscribe button, little notification bell as well. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Is it something you might like to purchase? Uh, there's a few photographers out there I know are doing a lot more reels now, and they are thinking about moving into YouTube a bit more, and obviously uh, TikTok and Instagram and stuff like that. So maybe this would be ideal for them. So anyway, catch you later.